Hello everyone, in this video, I will show you how I repot my succulents from Benguet. Um, ito yung mga nabili ko and they are from Benguet. As you can see, they are still in their nursery bag. Uh, first, tinatanggal ko yung soil tsaka uh, nililinis ko yung roots as much as I can para ma-check kung may root mealybugs or other fungi na pwedeng maging reason sa pagkamatay ng plant at saka para maiwasan din yung para, para maiwasan din mahawa yung ibang plants Yan. so sa mga hindi nakakaalam Benguet is a highland province here in the Philippines um, karamihan or halos lahat ng cactus and succulents na mabibili dito sa lowland ay galing sa, sa Benguet. Okay, so by the way, this is variegated Echeveria decora. Okay, so hanggang ganito lang yung paglilinis na nakaya ko. But it's okay kasi later iwa-wash pa natin siya with water para mas mas luminous pa siya. Itong next plant na tatanggalan ko ng soil or uh, lilinisan ko is Graptovaria titubans. Okay, so this next plant is Cotyledon chocoline.
Okay, so the next plant is Chromosedum Little Gem. So this is one of my favorite succulents kasi sobrang cute niya. Kapag naglilinis ako ng mga succulents, especially yung mga maliliit ang leaves, hindi maiiwasan na may ma matanggal. So, what I do is, I pick up the leaves and then save it for leaf, leaf propagation. Okay, so next step is, we prepare na natin yung fungicide solution. So, I use 3 to 4 liters of water. Tapos, ihahalo ko yung 1 teaspoon of titate. Okay, so, uh, you have to mix well para madissolve yung powder sa water. Okay, so next step naman is huhugasan natin ng water yung mga roots nila. So, uh, clean it as much as you can. Or I clean it as much as I can. And then, pag alam kong, pag for me, okay na siya, ilalagay ko na siya dun sa fungicide solution. So, gagawin ko to sa lahat ng plants na tinanggalan ko ng soil kanina. And, ibababad ko sila for 30 minutes only. So as you can see, in spite of cleaning and washing na ginawa ko kanina, meron pa rin insect na lumabas nung binabad ko yung mga plants. Ibig sabihin, hindi talaga lahat natatanggal. Kaya, hindi ako familiar sa insect na to, pero it's better to be safe. After 30 minutes, uh, tanggalin na natin yung mga plants sa fungicide solution. Tsaka I suggest na gumamit ng tray na maraming butas para uh, mabilis siya madry. Tsaka lahat ng parts ng, para yung air niya is through and through. Tsaka mabilis matuyo lahat ng parts ng, ng plant. Okay, next air the air dry the plants for a day or two. Tapos ilagay siya sa place na hindi direct sun. After one and a half day, pwede na sila ng air pot. So this is one of my favorite Peperomia verticillata red log. And this is a variegated Kalanchoe rotundifolia. And then this is Graptopetalum or Graptopetalum mendizae.
going to put them in is in ceramic pots na nabili ko sa Japan surplus and as you can see nilagyan ko na rin siya ng hole and then uh, I'm going to get another the bigger ceramic pot tapos ilalagay ko siya sa ilalim para yung medium or yung soil mix na matapon is hindi masayang
Okay, so ito na yung mga napat ko na succulents. Here they are. So, marami-rami sila. <laughs> Yan. After repotting, make sure na ilagay nyo muna sila sa bright area pero hindi direct sun. Bright area pero shaded. So, ito yung mga napot ko last week with the same process. Um, as you can see, meron pa silang dieting stains but it will vanish after a few times of watering. So, that's it for this video. So, if you learned something, please like and subscribe. See you on the next!